will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Tel Aviv is the gay capital of the world. Yah removed the ancient Israelites from the land of Canaan because of disobedience towards the Elohim. The Israeli Jews, who are of the synagogue of Satan, who proclaim to be God's chosen people, have sinned worse than the ancient Israelites. They do not believe in the Messiah or the God of Israel, yet Christians believe they are God's chosen people. If they were truly Yah's people, how can Yah allow the Israeli Jews to live in the land of Israel and not remove them out of his holy land for their continuous sins? Remember, in 70 AD, Yah removed his people out of his holy land and dispersed Judah all over the world because of their wickedness. If the Israeli Jews are Yah's people, why are they allowed to stay without chastisement? In the Old Testament, when the ancient Israelites sinned, Yah sent Israel into exile and punished them. Yah would not tolerate his people to pollute his holy land or his name. When a prophet of Yah prayed on the behalf of the Israelites, Yah had mercy on his people and delivered them from the judgment he placed on his people. Today, the Israeli Jews are prevailing against their enemies. No one's allowed to say anything about the Jews. If you do, you are being anti-Semitic. Many have lost their jobs, their homes, and their life if they war against the Israeli Jews. The power they are receiving to prevail against their enemies stems from Satan, not the God of Israel. In 1948, the synagogue of Satan moved in and dwell in Yah's land, not the true biblical Israelites. According to the Bible, Yahshua would be the one to bring Israel and Judah back to the land he swore to their fathers. And I will bring you out from the people and will gather you out of the countries wherein ye are scattered with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out. Since Christians believe the return of the Jews in 1948 was a miracle by Yah, that proves how deceived they truly are. The Christian faith is based on Satan lies and not on the truth. Satan used Christianity to deceive the whole world. The world believed the imposter Jews living in Israel are the descendants of the ancient Israelites. That is false. They have no connection with the ancient Israelites. According to the Bible, Jerusalem will be trodden down by Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles are fulfilled. They will fall by the sword and will be taken as prisoners to all the nations. Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. Christians preach one message and the Bible preach another message. Who is telling the truth, Yah or men? The very Bible Christians are supposed to read every day said, Gentiles will trample Jerusalem until their time end. Yet Christians cannot seem to comprehend the messages in the Holy Bible. The reason they cannot see is that the Christian church focused solely on the false white Messiah, Jesus Christ. In addition, Christians believe Yah's commandments and statutes is fulfilled and is no longer required to be followed to be saved. Christians who believe in this lie is disobeying the Most High. You are transgressing Yah's laws and commandments. What is sin? Sin is a transgression against Yah's laws. That is the meaning to sin. If you are disobeying Yah's commandments, you are doing the very thing Yah command you not to do. Since your main focus is believing in the Messiah, you disregard everything else the Holy Bible said. And by doing this, you put your salvation at risk. Another Christian belief 
When Jesus died on the cross, he took the sins of the world. Since he died for the sins of the world, the Israeli Jews can live freely in the land of Israel. First of all, Yahshua died for the sins of the Israelites. Israel is the one who needed redemption, not the whole world. Yah gave his laws and statutes to the Israelites, not all people. When the Israelites disobeyed Yah, they needed redemption. Yah had to reconcile his people back to him so they can continue to be a priest to him. When the Gentiles wanted to know how to serve the God of Israel, the Gentiles would come to the Israelites. And the Israelites were to teach the Gentiles Yah's laws, statutes, and commandments. The Israelites were supposed to be the light to the Gentiles. That is where Christians get they supposed to be the light to the world. In addition, when Yahshua was hung on a tree, not on a cross like you Christians believe. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Yeshua was taking away the animal burnt offerings and Israel's sins, not the sins of the world. That is why you Christians say he was the sacrificial lamb. Before the Messiah annulled the animal sacrifices by his death on the tree, the ancient Israelites had to offer burnt offerings to atone for their sins. Sin equals death. Since Yahshua's blood atoned for Yah's people, the Israelites, that is why you do not die when you sin. Christians believe you must believe in Jesus in order for Christ to atone for your sins. You have to be a believer. The Israeli Jews do not believe in the Christian Messiah, Jesus. Therefore, his grace and mercy is not upon the Jews. How can you support them? The Jews are still waiting on their Messiah, the Antichrist, the false prophet. Remember, they are the synagogue of Satan. Once the false prophet comes, they will receive him as their Messiah. My guess, he will be a European white man. The world is in love with the European standard of beauty. Majority of people have rejected the true black Messiah. I pray you understand what I'm trying to say to you and see the half-truth in Christianity, black people. If the Most High do not discipline you, the Most High is not your father. You are illegitimate children. The Bible states God chastised the ones he loves. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening... God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. The obedience that is required from Yah's people is not conditional. Yah made an everlasting covenant with Israel. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. Because of the disobedience towards the everlasting covenant, the Israelites are under the curses stated in Deuteronomy 28. That is how you can identify Israel today. Yah knew his people could not keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. That is why throughout the Old Testament he said he would send a redeemer to Israel, a root stem out of Jesse. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Look how many times Israel have fallen short of Yah's high standards. Yah sent Israel a deliverer to redeem them. And through their belief in the Messiah, Israel will be able to live and not die. The Gentiles have their own gods they worship. They still worship other gods until this day, like the sun god Baal and his white Messiah Jesus, Allah and Muhammad, Hinduism, and many more. Yah is punishing the Israelites for breaking the covenant he made with their forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Jews are the richest people on earth. Anything they want, they receive. If the Jews want to change the laws to benefit them, they can. If they want to steal a country, they can. Ask the Palestinian people who dwell in the land of Israel today. Their father, the God of this world, Satan, blessed them with all the desires their heart lusts after. That is why they can sin freely in the land of Israel and not be punished for their wickedness. Satan knows Yah is not going to punish the Israeli Jews right now. Satan utilized them to deceive the whole world. Once the time of the Gentiles is fulfilled, the Jews as well as the rest of the world will be judged for their participation of the ill treatment of Yah's chosen people and the sins of the world. If you wait until judgment to know the truth, it will be too late. Many so-called Christians believe they are saved by believing in Jesus. Satan have them believe they can do whatever they want. As long as they believe in Jesus, they will be saved. 
If the Israelites have to pay for the sins of their fathers, what makes the Gentiles believe they would not pay for the sins of their fathers? Do you believe you can murder, enslave, persecute, oppress Yah's people, transgress his laws, and go to heaven and not be judged? If the Israelites whom Yah loves chasten his people, what do you think he would do to the Gentiles? Remember, you will be judged by the Messiah on your sins as well as the way you treated Yah's chosen people. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And they have cast lots for my people, and have given a boy for an harlot, and sold a girl for wine, that they might drink. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre, and Zidon, and all the coasts of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place whither ye have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah and they shall sell them to the Sabaeans, to a people far off. For the Lord hath spoken it. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened, and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full, the vats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion, and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people, and the strength of the children of Israel. So shall ye know that I am the Lord your God dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no strangers pass through her any more. And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountain shall drop down new wine and the hill shall flow with milk and all the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters and a fountain shall come forth of the house of the Lord and shall water the valley of Shittim. Egypt shall be a desolation and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever, and Jerusalem from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. But the Lord dwelleth in Zion. If you have ears to hear, let them hear. If Christians do not know who the biblical Israelites are today, how can you be saved or grafted in as you like to proclaim? Christians did not replace Yah's chosen people. Yah's people are being mistreated by all nations of people every day. Everyone hates the Israelites. Many Christians believe the Israelites who know their true identity is in a cult. They are the lowest of the low in everything. If you do not know who they are by my description, I will tell you who they are. They are the so-called black race, the descendants of slaves, scattered all over the world. I can see the smirks on your faces. Many of you are laughing right now because you think these people cannot possibly be God's chosen people. 
because they are good for nothing, as you like to think. I refuse to believe this nonsense. Black people must be delusional with their cult beliefs. My point exactly. There's that satanic mindset that will get you put out of Yah's kingdom, just like your father Satan kicked out of heaven. Let this message be a testimony to all who refuse to believe that the so-called black race, descendants of slaves, scattered all over the world, is Yah's chosen people. Yah will use the lowest of them all to shame the proud. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, and base things of the world, and things which are despised. Hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not, to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. Yah works well with the humble. He knows they will not steal his glory. As for the proud, do not be a self-confident fool. Satan's pride had him kicked out of heaven and tumbling down to earth. He said he would be like the Most High. That is why Yah hate pride. So many of you have that characteristic. You are so proud of yourself, as if you did something spectacular. The gifts and talents that you have was given to you by the Most High Yah. If you're going to be proud and boast, then give Yah the glory. That, according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. The Most High is not going to share His glory with you. When you create something without using Yah's resources and creation, then you can boast. Until then, silence. Christianity is not for you, black people. You have a mighty heritage given to you by the Most High. Do not give up on your great heritage for the foolish things of the world. Come out of her and not be partakers of her sins. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. 